Now, time for Fox Carolina weather. Weather rate certified most accurate local forecast. A rainy, dreary Monday here. Meteorologist Ben Doran back in the Weather Center. Uh, some warm temperatures are on the way with some sunshine, too. They are, yes. We've got one more hurdle to get over before we experience that, and it's tomorrow. Not just showers, but the possibility for thunderstorms with even a low end but non zero severe weather threat, which we'll talk about in just a second. Let's start from ground zero, where we are right now. Showers to our south, really not doing much. Some low cloud cover, though, taking place, too. We've got a warm front settled to our south. That's why we've been so cool blocking that warm air for the time being. But what's going to happen is it's going to transform itself to the north. And basically, once that happens, that's going to open the Gulf to much warmer air. As you can see, much better reflectivities being experienced or being seen just to our south along and south of that warm front. So once that gets north of here, we're going to be a little warmer. We're not going to be that warm, so it's not like a loaded gun setup for severe weather or anything like that. But temperatures will be warm enough to support uh, to support some very isolated severe weather if uh, if that happens at all. So that's something we're monitoring. But again, future cash showing just a little bit of that. But before we get to that patchy fog existing to our south, Greenwood and Newberry around half mile visibilities, Franklin, North Carolina below a mile uh, below a mile visibility at the time being too. Now let's get to future cast. As you can see, very spotty showers throughout the night and early morning Tuesday. Drizzle and fog a good a possibility for your Tuesday. And then during the early afternoon, that's when we're expecting that shower and thunderstorm activity along the warm front to begin in our westernmost area. Some heavy rain likely with this little band, and that's going to quickly move itself out of the area between 5 and 6 o'clock. So that's round number one. That's the warm front. Next comes the cold front. That's going to come with another round of thunderstorms and a heavy rain. That's going to move through pretty quickly as well around midnight and thereafter getting it out of here by Wednesday morning. So Wednesday overall looking much better. Stray shower can't be ruled out, but safe to say things should start to get better on Wednesday. And as I said, it's a very low and severe threat. The main threat is going to be much farther to the west over Tennessee and North Georgia and Alabama. So that's where you find the slight risk. So some of those leftover thunderstorms could very well impact the area, but it's really areas to our west we're most concerned with that. But again, all threats are on the table, but all overall very low in those categories. Flooding and high wind, the highest but not by much, but can't rule out some small hail as well as maybe a brief spin up tornado as well. So that's tomorrow's severe weather threat. Tonight brings spotty showers and fog with 47 degrees as a low temperature in the upstate, 46 for you in the mountains. Temperatures as those thunderstorms are moving through get up to the low 60s. So again, it's really not going to be the warmest day, but we're going to have a decent amount of wind shear that's going to help fuel those thunderstorms. That's why damaging wind and tornadoes both are on the table, but overall the threat is low. Just something to be aware of. I know a lot of you are probably sheltered in place right now, just to be sure to have that plan in place in case something happens. But again, the threat is very low, but not zero. Seven day forecast after that hurdle, we get rewarded 80s return Wednesday, just like that 67 though on the mountains, 70s and 80s from here on out through Sunday. Just a slight chance for rain coming up on Sunday and behind that little frontal system. That's going to bring us back into the mid 60s to lower 70s by Monday. So once we get through tomorrow, things going to get much better in that forecast.